was the altar. Hello, my name is Paul McVerin, a professor in the English department and director of a CERT, and today I'm going to talk about my teaching hack, um, which we're calling Finishing Strong. Um, so the basic idea is at the end of a course, um, I like to do some type of activity um, that allows the students to think back on what they learned and what they want to take with them outside of the course to the next courses or maybe um, on in their future careers, as well as an instructor to provide you a space to get some feedback on what students would have you know liked to have had or really appreciated having or didn't like about the course. So I remember I'd read an article, a blog post in the Chronicle of Higher Education called Finishing Strong when I was in graduate school and that's what really prompted me to uh, kind of reconsider the last day of course. So what I try to do is um, ask the questions um, of the students to, to, to kind of prime their thoughts about the course. Um, I, I ask them on, you know, in person or uh, alone, it's kind of a quick write to just write down a couple of things such as you know, what will you remember about this course, what readings, what topics, or you know, the converse of that, you know, I ask them to write a couple of things about like, what are you going to forget about this course? So they, they get together after they write in small pairs and we talk about like, you know, that kind of positive and maybe things they'll forget. So they've kind of gone through the syllabus and thought about what are the things that they, that they liked or didn't like about the semester. And then I hand out five post-it notes and I say, okay, you know, we've had this semester together, we've had this course together on each uh, post-it note, write down one thing um, that you learned this semester. And I give them some examples, you know, it can be a specific thing, like I learned the IPA, the phonetic alphabet, the, you know, what a fricative is or something like that. Um, or it can be a more general thing, like uh, for teaching classes, you know, or for sociolinguistic classes, you know, I learned about, you know, heritage language learning, or I learned about ways to draw on students' multilingual backgrounds in the classroom. So, you know, big things, little things, specific things, five different things that you learned on different post-it notes. And then I put the students together in groups of four or five so that they have quite a number of these post-it notes to put together and they'll put them on a, on a whiteboard or on a sheet of uh, poster paper and arrange them in some sort of visual um, representation of the of the of the different topics so that you know it can be something simple like Venn diagrams or circles or some sort of you know kind of this leads to this um, mapping of it or if you want to be uh, creative in a different way try to draw you know some sort of picture um, a lot of times students end up drawing some sort of tree or they do like chapters of a book or just something that will visually represent the types of information that you as a group collectively learned so then they've thought through what they liked and didn't like about the course, they thought through five things that they personally learned, they look at a bunch of different things from other, you know, four other people, and then they think about how to organize that as a group. When they're done, I ask them to give it a title because it also kind of gives it this meta kind of framing of what is this information that you're going to take with you, and then they look at each other's and they walk around the room and kind of do like a poster, um, you know, presentation at a conference, and the final thing would be then having the groups present their posters and their, and their organization of the of the post-it notes to each other. So there's multiple things and most, multiple times that they can they can uh, reflect on what they've learned, how they're going to kind of visually organize it on a piece of paper or a whiteboard, but then that might also get reflected then back into their long-term memories. And then of course presenting it will will just further kind of put it in their in their in their minds. So that's just what I like to do at the end of a um, course. It helps me as an instructor think about what the students got out of it. Um, it helps the students think about what they got out of it, and I think so in a, in a way it helps us both uh, finish the semester strong. <laughs>